Now, I know we've talked a lot about on the show of breastfeeding in public and how now there's this big controversy and the media and everything, and you had a very negative experience recently mm -hmm. at the YMCA. That's right. Can you tell us about that? What mm -hmm. happened? Well, my kids were swimming and I was sitting poolside. There's like a little viewing area where you can watch kids swim. And my baby, who was five months old at the time, was hungry and I was nursing my baby. Well, we weren't there for too long when a lifeguard came up to me and asked me to move to another place. And I said that I wasn't interested in moving, that I was comfortable where I was. And she persisted and I said, I have a right to breastfeed. It. I can breastfeed where I, wherever I am. That, that right is protected by law. And uh, she went away. I thought it was the end of that. She came back and said that she had spoken to her supervisor and that her supervisor had indicated that the law didn't protect me there. Um, and that, um, you know, while they weren't telling me I had to move, that I should consider moving um, because it was a family place. Which, of mm. course, was ridiculous because, you know, there's nothing more family-oriented than breastfeeding. Right. Um, so it went on for about 20 minutes after that, which was quite disturbing, um, where the debates of breastfeeding, particularly in public, were, where the merits of breastfeeding in public were, were debated. And uh, eventually I, I just left because, you know, I didn't want to pursue the argument anymore. I was really disappointed because it became apparent through our conversation, um, the lifeguard and I, that it wasn't just her opinion, it was also the opinion of her manager and the other lifeguards that they had, that they were aghast that I would be breastfeeding in public. Which is interesting because, you know, in a pool you're going to be seeing lots of expo exposed, you know, skin, mm -hmm. and the idea of, you know, a breastfeeding mother breastfeeding her child somehow being obscene is totally ridiculous in that context and in many contexts. You know, it really is about just feeding our babies. You know, breasts aren't just decorative, they're actually for that purpose for, for, mm -hmm. for many women. Because as an organization it was apparent that the Y wasn't supportive of women breastfeeding and that they weren't aware of legal protections for women breastfeeding in public, I decided to file a complaint with the Ontario Human Rights Commission because that's, that's the, law, the law that protects breastfeeding is, is covered by that. I've been disappointed that um, the Y didn't respond to the claim within the 30 days that they were supposed to file to, to, to respond. They also haven't indicated whether or not they're going to the mediation process or not. So I've been very disappointed in that. Initially, they came out saying that they acknowledged that the event happened and that it showed a lack of judgment and that you know they were going to talk to people on their staff, yada yada. But what's become apparent is that they're just that that was their lip service to it and they're actually not addressing it as a complaint so I have um, posted on my uh, blog some details about um, a nursing that's going to happen just to show the why that it's not just me who thinks that women should be able to breastfeed it's many women and that it's a it's a it's a, um, an issue that's important and with what we've been seeing on uh, the the fear around breastfeeding pictures on Facebook and about other women being mm -hmm. harassed for breastfeeding in North America I think it's a timely issue that we need to put the word out that women have the right to nurse anytime anywhere as they see fit they can't be harassed they can't even be approached about it and asked to move or to leave that women have that right wherever they are to breastfeed. It's not an issue of obscenity, it's an issue of simply feeding our babies. Right. When they're hungry. Now where can people go um, to read your blog? Well my blog is at www.mothernurture.wordpress.com.